All right, so I'm back and today we're going to take a look at the Make Toys dump truck. Great name, guys. <laughs> um, so he rolls. Um, he looks good. You could store all sorts of stuff um, on him. He's got the uh, the wing for Devastator. Um, he's got these two uh, screwdrivers and then his guns over here. So you can take this off, take out the screwdrivers. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. And they fit in there really super tight. Come on. Fuck. And then this piece here, it just plugs into his hands. So you can just untab this. Now, while we're on the topic of this, I, I just I just want to mention you know, one of my biggest gripes about third party is that they don't leave us a big, huge, open spot for a good Decepticon logo. I mean, this is supposed to be for the Devastator. And this is the, the biggest Decepticon logo I can fit on this tiny little smooth spot that it has. Um, it really needs to have, like, this whole section smoothed out, um, just waiting for, a, you know, Decepticon logo. I mean, seriously, you guys... All you third-party companies really need to remember that we need to put logos on our guys. I know you guys can't put logos on it, but that doesn't mean we can't. Um, it's just, you know, here is, I mean, it's like, where am I supposed to put it on this guy? Um, he's got no smooth part. I mean, I guess I could put it on the grill, but that's that's not smooth, so it's not going to stick very well. I. It's like, what the hell, guys? I, I need a big smooth spot that I can slap on a Decepticon logo. Anyway, moving on. Mini rant. Um, so yeah, uh, truck's great. I, I like the truck mode. It rolls really well. Tires um, are on hinges, so you can kind of make it look like it's turning if you want to. Uh, the dump truck part doesn't actually work but uh you know it, whatever and yeah there you go um to transform him you just want to split these arms here like this rotate them out this piece will come back like so then you want to rotate the wheel down rotate this back rotate the legs forward and then these hip pieces here will just kind of fold down out of the way. This will rotate back, and there is a circle peg here that will plug into that slot there. Tab it in. You're good to go. Now, this guy also came with some replacement parts, uh, some new shoulder assemblies. Pull everything out here. So he's got some new shoulder assemblies, which honestly I couldn't figure out what purpose they serve, so I didn't put them on. Um, they're they seem to be identical in every way. Um, so yeah, I didn't I, I didn't use them. Um, now this piece here, um, I could easily see why they replaced it because um, they just. I guess didn't think about needing this thing to rotate for transformation. I mean, I'm putting a lot of pressure on that. Oh, see, and it snapped. There you go. Um, and you see like the indents in my thumb from where I was pushing on it and it snapped. So that's why they put in the replacement part. So, so yeah, that's why definitely use those replacement parts because I put the new that new piece here in and it just they just s slide in so definitely if you have the original version make sure you use that replacement part uh, <laughs> don't don't do what I just did um, I only did that because I had the replacement part I didn't know it was gonna snap but um, anyway uh, rotate this here down 
and you can there is a tab right here or a slot right here that this tab right here will plug into so you just tab that in foot comes down just like that Same thing over here. It's a little, it's, it's kind of a tight assembly, but it will, it will go. It's not like the the hip pieces on the uh, the broken one that won't go. Fold down the foot, just like so. Then the arms, they rotate in like this and tab into place. You rotate the fist around and there you got your arm. Weird, weird arm assembly going on there. Um, not sure how I, I how much I approve of that. Um, I, let's see, it just, it doesn't tab in all the way um, sometimes and it just, it's just, it's just weird the way they, they made that work. Um, and then you can fold the head up, obviously. Rotate it around. And there you go. Um, there is long haul. And I'm still waiting for somebody to get long haul right. I really, I, 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 I am waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and nobody's, not even Hasbro seems to be able to do it right. Um, and what I'm talking about primarily is um, in the G1, the dump, the bed of the truck would fold down and become the legs, not the arms. I, I don't get where this idea came from. Um, so we'll see how Generation Toys and um, Toy World does it. Um, he looks goofy. Oh uh, shit! Uh, just straight up goofy. Um, his wheels sitting on the hips here—they're—they're they're too big. You know, um, arms are <laughs> the the hands are just comically huge. I mean, <laughs> look at those things. Um, just just everything about him just doesn't. D Definitely feels like okay. This is a combiner, and we're sacrificing robot mode to make this work. Um, you could also rotate around and kind of use like the front half if you want to, um, but that's not how it's supposed to go. So, um, posability wise, uh, his head is it's on this. Um, hinge here for transformation so it, and that's a lot looser than the actual ball joint for the head um so be mindful of that uh does swivel side to side shoulders can rotate in and out like this uh there is a ball joint attaching to the shoulders there is a bicep swivel um double bend elbow but because of this tab here um you get you get it that far um so it's like why put in a larger oh there it goes there it goes maybe nope why, why put it in there for double hinge if you can't use it because you're going to put a tab in the way um hands do rotate um again they're super huge um uh, waist swivels but he's got so much kibble uh, unless you got your arms out like this you're not gonna be able to use it and then it gets caught up on this on these pieces back here um, so hips rotate up and down in and out thigh swivel bends at the knee uh, pretty good bend there uh, and then the foot is on a ball peg which gets you a little it really just goes up and down. I don't know why they didn't just put it on a pin you can kind of swivel it but it, it, it's got that tight feeling of oh this is gonna break um let's try this one yeah same thing it, it just because it, it's it's sitting in there at a weird angle um I, I don't know i don't know about this one guys 
I think I think um, looking at these guys again with a more modern eye, it, it just it, they're not sitting well with me. Um, all right, so you got the gun. You can plug that into his hand. You know, looks all right, but his hand is so big. Um, you got this assembly here, which you can kind of fold up, and it comes like um, an axe of some sort. And you can try and plug that into his hand. And this 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 will plug into anybody's hand, but um, it doesn't have to be his. I don't think it can be his. Um, but you'd plug it in like that, and you got some weird, goofy-looking weapon. Um, you take the um, screwdrivers here. You can plug those into his hand. Um, give him some extra pistols, uh, which which admittedly looks pretty good. Those actually look better than his actual gun. Take this out. You can flip this around, and now he's got the screwdriver, which now we're talking goofy. Um, <laughs> then you can take this assembly here, and you can take this piece here, and this will plug into there like that. And then you can fold these handles out. Like so. And then you can... Uh, Rotate the arms in like this. Plug these into his hands. And he can uh, kind of do jackhammer thing. It's there. I don't think any of us anywhere will ever use this option. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> seriously. I, I, mm, I'm starting to hate this set. <laughs> starting to remember why I sold the green one when I did. Um, Alright, so moving all this shit out of the way. Um, let's get him at some size comparisons going. Uh, um, here he is with the MP car. Uh, he's a lot shorter but bulkier than an MP car, so he would not work at MP at all. Um, so this is what I mean that their, their scales, their bot scales are kind of all over the place. Uh, here he is with the classic Seeker, and he's only a hair taller than the Seeker. Um, here he is with uh, Powerglide. And here he is with Classics Prime. So, so yeah. Definitely uh, better for chug scale if you're going to go with bot mode. I would not recommend him in bot mode just because he looks so hilariously weird. And here he is with the uh, TFC. Uh, who looks a lot better in bot mode. And here he is with this thing. <laughs> um, who is just so large and fat and, and wide that he just does not. You know, it, of these three, the TSC one, I, I would easily say is the better one. Just because he makes more of a coherent bot. Um, these two definitely look like, okay, we're part of a combiner and the robot mode has been sacrificed to make the combiner good. This guy definitely has the look of, well, I'm, um, you know, I, I, I'm my own guy. I'm my own bot. He's a man of his, man of his own world. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, as far as the rating goes... I'd say 3 out of 10. I, I would say, you know, if you're picking up these guys individually for display, this guy is not on the list of must-have. Um, the transformation's awkward with those arms. The, the the overall look and the aesthetics of the bot are so neo that it's, it's, it's now taking steps away from it being a good update to more of a what the hell are we looking at kind of thing um so so yeah um the he he doesn't work for me at all 
<laughs> I do not like this thing. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll continue on. I know I'm sp I'm going to be splitting up all these videos as I go, you know, because yeah, there's other things I want to look at other than these guys. So if there's breaks in between the videos, I don't know when I'm recording it. I recorded the first four all at once. Um, so I don't know if I've been splitting them up already. Um, cause I know I'm waiting for DX9's Mirage to come in. Um, Galvatron's going to be here any day from when I'm recording this. Um, I probably already have it by the time this video is already out. Um, we're almost done with the raffle for the Galvatron as well. So there's going to be a second Galvatron on the way. Um, there's all sorts of things going on. Um. And I, I was getting a bonus on Friday. Uh, I'm probably going to buy a Feral Rex. Um, and, you know, a bunch of other things. So, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, anyway, don't get this guy if you're getting them solos. Just, just don't. If you're getting them for combined mode, that's a different story. But like I always say, I think the robots need to be able to hold their own in, in their own vehicle and bot mode or animal and bot mode without it being compromised by a combiner. That's one of the things I loved so much about the Feral Rex when I first had it is the fact that each one of those bots were good bots on their own. None, none of it was sacrificed um, really to make the the combiner um, better they were good individual bots on their own I mean the only things were, were like you know storing the um, the feet on the back of Bovis and Fortis you know that's it's something you don't have to do but you can do it if you want to store store it and that's that's one of the very few things that I, I would say I mean like even the swords you know when they combine into a giant sword you know it's, it wasn't my favorite of the swords but it still was a good sword and individually, the weapons were still good. So it's it, it, it's it's one of those. It's like I don't want to see compromised bot modes to make the 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 combiner better. Because sometimes I I want them all displayed in 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 robot modes. That's why the TFC one, um, aside from Mixmaster, really are. A, a better option of what we're looking at right here when it comes to that personal preference because they're all relatively the same size they're all relatively you know coherent robots on their own these guys are not and these guys most of them are but he is not he's not one of those that just looks like he fits in with the rest of the set he definitely has that compromised look so Anyway, uh, I guess that's it uh, for him, and we'll get on to, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out as we go. 